become a blogger? Everybody's got opinions. Everybody's got ideas. The good news is there is a universal market consisting of potentially billions of people. The Internet is really a large audience. You may think that you have all these wild and wacky opinions that nobody really takes seriously. That may be true, but it may be the other way. It may well turn out that your opinions, as weird and as awkward you may think they are, might actually appeal to a large number of people. When you publish these materials, you may be in for a pleasant surprise. There may be a lot of people reading your stuff, sharing your stuff on social media, and essentially developing a community around your content. If all this sounds far-fetched to you, don't be so skeptical. This happens all the time. In fact, a lot of online publishers started out this way. They would just share their opinions, or they would share research that they've compiled and put into their own words in their own personal blog. They thought that nothing was going to come of their blog, which was purely a hobby. Well, thanks to social media as well as search engines, these people are making full-time income from their blogs. In fact, a lot of these publishers end up selling their properties for quite a bit of money. $100,000 to $1 million is not unheard of. Excited yet? Follow the tips below to set up your own blog. Pick the right niche. If there's any one piece of advice I can give anybody looking into blogging, it is this. Your niche will make or break your blog. Pick the wrong niche and your blog will die. According to the New York Times, over 90% of blogs ever started end up dying. That's how high the blogging failure rate is. A lot of this can be traced to the wrong niche. You have to pick a niche that is rewarding enough for you to remain motivated and pumped up about blogging. If you are blogging for one month and you're just cracking out content like there's no tomorrow, if you don't make any money and there's no engagement or any kind of objective indication of success, sooner or later you're going to run out of steam. After all, you can only run on passion for so long. To create a self-sustaining business where you can get the motivation you need to just produce high-quality content and produce these materials over an extended period of time so as to maximize their income potential, you have to pick the right niche. The right niche can be boiled down into the formula below. The right niche equals the topic you're passionate about plus high enough search volume levels. You can get this through Google Keyword Planner Tool. Plus high enough commercial value. You can get this with the Google Keyword Planner Tool. And manageable levels of competition. You can find this through a simple Google search for your target keywords. Just wrap your mind around the formula above and you will be able to blog successfully. Starting a blog. Starting a blog is actually the easy part. The hard part is picking the right niche. I'm providing you the steps below under the assumption that you already know how to pick the right niche or you have already chosen one. Step one, get a hosting domain name and install WordPress. I suggest that you get hosting that allows for a one-click WordPress installation. A lot of people say that you should use free tools like blogger.com, wordpress.com, or medium.com. Don't listen to those people. Remember, your blog can make money, but the real payday is when you sell your blog. As I mentioned above, many bloggers sell their blog business for hundreds of thousands of dollars or even north of a million dollars. That's how lucrative blogging can be. If you don't believe me, look up the sales of big credit card or personal finance blogs. Those deals can be mind-blowing. Since selling your blog is a future possibility, it doesn't make any sense for you to use a platform like medium.com or blogger.com. You don't own the platform, and ultimately, you don't own that property. Host your own blogs using your own hosting subscription on your own domain name and run your blog through WordPress. Step number two, pick the right name. Pick a blog name that really encapsulates the value your blog brings to the table. Step number three, customize your blog. Make sure that your blog reflects your brand. Step number four, create winning content. By winning content, I'm talking about content that is recommended by tools like BuzzSumo. When you use these tools, they find the most popular pieces of content in your niche. You end up creating content that people are already interested in. This increases the chance of your blog becoming successful. Step number five, promote your website. Go on social media and share your blog posts. Share on question and answer platforms like Quora.com. Get on Reddit and discuss your website and share your resources. Make it a point to devote several hours every month to this until you get a steady flow of traffic. Eventually, you can stop promoting because your blog would have gathered enough attraction so that its own readers would be sharing your blog content. Step number six, monetize. This shouldn't be number one on your agenda, but it should still be part of the picture. Once you get enough traffic, look to turning that traffic into money. 
You can put ads that pay you pay-per-click, or you can sell your own products, or you can put ads that pay for every single email captured. Whatever the case may be, you eventually start making money, but you should focus first on making your blog popular.